AFFLib is an open source library used for making tools that create, convert, read, and verify advanced forensic format image files. AFF is an extensible format used for the storage of forensic disk images and associated metadata. AFF and AFFLib is an open standard and is freely available for use. Before we begin the demo, we need to know how to update AFFLib on Kali Linux. We can see the installed version of AFFLib by running any AFF command with a capital V flag. AFF info is a good one to use. The latest version of AFFLib is 3.7.6, so the AFFLib installed on Kali 1.1.0 is old and should be updated. To do this, we'll first download the source code from GitHub into user local source. Next, we need to make sure that we have the tools and libraries needed to build AFFLib. Accept the default setting for installing these packages. Now, change into the AFFLib source folder. Create the configuration bootstrap script and perform the actual build and installation of AFFLib. The compiled AFF tools files will be placed in the user local bin subdirectory. Finally, run the hash command to update the bash shells file cache and run the AFF info command again to check that we are now using the latest release of AFFLib. In this demo, we will see the operation of AFFLib tools for working with AFF files. AFF convert for converting raw images to AFF images and AFF files to raw images. AFF info for displaying information about AFF image files. AFF copy to compress AFF files. And AFF verify for verifying the error checking features of AFF image files. Let's start this demo by making some AFF files. You can use the Gimager tool included in Kali to acquire images directly to AFF, or convert raw images that you acquire using DD, DDFLDD, or DC3DD to the AFF format. The AFF convert tool is used to convert raw images to AFF files, and convert AFF files to raw image files. Notice that the AFF tools won't overwrite files, so the possibility of accidentally destroying data is greatly reduced. This means you will have to remove or rename the files yourself. The .raw file extension is used for the converted raw file by default. If you want another extension, use the E flag and specify the extension. Once you have a few AFF files to play with, you can have a look at the contents using the AFF info commands. This is a dump of the AFF files metadata. We can see this file was created by the AFF convert command in AFF lib version 3.7.6 from a file named backup.raw. The MD5 and SHA1 hash values are displayed, as is the acquisition date. The AFF copy command copies one AFF file to another, performing data conversions as specified. AFF copy is commonly used to compress AFF files. This command line compresses the AFF file using the LZMA compression algorithm. We can use the AFF stats command to look at the compression rate. Now let's try compressing with Zlib at the maximum compression level. AFS stats shows the LZMA algorithm gives a much better compression ratio than Zlib, but it is much slower to compress and uncompress than Zlib. Finally, let's run the AFF verify tools to check if we have a good AFF file. We see the hash values stored in the AFF file match the calculated hash values for the file's image data. No tampering is evident here. In this demo, we saw how the AFF tools are used to manipulate AFF image files. AFF convert was used to convert files between AFF and raw image format. AFF copy was used to compress AFF files to make them smaller. AFF info and AFF stats displayed information stored in AFF files. And AFF verify was used for verifying the error checking features of AFF image files. 